Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to upload a tutorial on how I um, do a, a mechanical pencil flower uh, for the uh, mechanical pencils, um, people who like to use these. Uh, first off, we of course need to pull this little thing off here. And I have me a, a nice pair of pliers that I use to do that. So what I do is I, of course, grab it up at the top here and kind of, whoops, well, let's do this again. Grab it here carefully. I haven't broke one yet, but watch me do it this time. There we go. Pull it off. We can get rid of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, piece of tape here and cover the bottom barrel of the pencil. There. Just wrap it around just like you would do on a pen. I just smooth it as I go. Since it's not real rounded, it's got, you know, uh, what do you call it, corners to it. Okay. So now we have the barrel covered. And we're going to do this in such a way that you'll actually still be able to use this part of the pencil. You can still use the eraser and uh, still pull the the eraser out and put extra lead on the inside so it's you know going to be usable for a long time not something that you're going to have to throw away i'm going to start out uh, with the uh, small blue petals around here first putting this on the inside this is scotch tape so we all know how it likes to pull up so i'm using this on the inside Doing this just like um, you would uh, any other flower. And once I get this done, in case I have um, folks watching who have not made flower pens or pencils. Um, I have a, a few pieces of uh, tape here um, that I have not folded up yet. So I'll show you how I fold my petals. Uh, these are two inch square pieces of tape. So I uh, fold it down leaving a L shape of sticky. And then I fold the other side in, trying to keep this edge right here even, so I don't it doesn't take it all the way over, as you can see. And I'll do another one. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry about that. Let me get the camera back over here. Got to be more careful what I'm doing. Take the right corner going over to the left, smooth it down, then bring the left over to the right, making sure to keep this even right here. Gives you a nice little petal looking thing right there. And then I just have two more of these to fold up. And hopefully that gives everyone an idea who's never made um, these petals before, um, how to, an idea of how to do it. This is just one of many ways that people fold their petals. I happen to like this way. Um, and so this is how I do mine the majority of the time. Um, there's other ways depending on if you want to cut the tips to make 
the rounded, more realistic looking uh, rose petals. Um, and in the future, I'll go ahead and do a tutorial on how to do those as well. And I do fold those a little bit differently because of the cutting. All right, so now um, we'll go ahead and go with putting them on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the four yellow next. And what I'm going to do is to try to make sure I hit it in between the other blue petals to kind of keep them even. And I'm going to do them, you know, just like I did the blue. Try to keep the little pet, you know, make sure I'm going in between the little petals here. And here's the last of the yellow, right in between those two blue, right here, right in between. Oops, getting there straight. Sorry if I end up getting out of the camera, I have to be more careful. All right, and now, now what I'm going to do, uh, I know lots of people will keep going back and forth, um, alternating them front to back like this at this point I just start um, I pick a spot and I just kind of go in a circle as you will see I'll uh, pick this spot here um, in between these two yellows and then instead of going to the back side I'm just going to turn it and I'm going to find the next spot between these two yellows Oops, I got out of camera again. And then I'm going to go between these two yellows. In between here. And then once you have gone around initially that way, then I'm just going to kind of judge it in between my pattern tape. I'm going to go in between the peaks of the petals on the row in front of it. I'm always pushing it down tight against the barrel. And when I get ready to edit this, I'll try to speed it up a little bit so it's not so long if I can figure that part out. Just uh, try to keep them evenly spaced. Um, that's really all I do. I've had um, comments that uh, people do like my flowers. They, they like the way they look and I appreciate that. Of course we all like getting compliments. We'd be lying if we didn't say we did. And I slowly, if as you can tell, I go down a little bit. I'm not going up. I'm kind of coming down a little bit. Not a lot. Not that it's real noticeable, but it helps um, to make the flower um, appear to be opening up a little bit. And I keep, I put on, um, I never put on the same number of petals. I just keep looking at it to see if I like the fullness of it. Um, and when, once it gets to a point where I think I like what it is, um, I'll stop. Sometimes I put on... Um, petals like in green like for you know real rose but other times I don't um, it just depends on what kind of project I'm making and if someone um, who's asked me to make them a pen or pencil uh, really wanted the leaves on there or if they just really wanted the pattern tape uh, some of the adults at my daughter's job that have me make them uh, flower pens um, they don't really want the uh, the actual leaf looking petals because most of them are pattern tapes and they just like the pattern tapes to show so um, on those I sometimes I cut four little squares out of the pattern tape to kind of make it even it up to clean it up if I need to it just depends on how it looks if it needs to be cleaned up or not all 
And I just kind of look at it and think, do I need some more? I think I need a few more. I always seem to cut more petals than what I need for a project, but it's nice to have enough already pre-cut so you don't have to go back and stop and cut some more. Uh, maybe one or two more. Or maybe just one more. We'll see. Maybe one more. <laughs> I'm always saying that. Maybe one more. And now I know I definitely need one more because it got, it looks like it got uneven right there. Whoops. Okay, here we go. I think one more, this time I think one more is going to do it. Nope. <laughs> I got a spot over here. See, you have to just kind of eyeball it to what you think looks good. I just, sometimes I'm too much of a perfectionist for my own good. Okay. I think... One, two, three, four, five. I think that looks good. Let's see if I put one more. Well, how will that look? If I put one more right here. Yeah. See? I thought I had was done. And then I wasn't. And it's now oh, I'm just gonna use all of them. I've only got two left. We'll just use those two. And then we're going to call it a done deal. That's really is going to be half. This is just going to have to be done now. Because now I'm out of cut petals. And so oh, that looks nice. I think I had. Let's see. I think I had 20. Let's see. 22. 26. I had 28 petals. So that's how many petals. Counting the blue and the yellow. That I ended up having for this one. And as you can see, you can still use the pencil. Oops, here you can still use the top. Push the lead out. So you can still take the little thing out, put more leads on the inside. So, you know, your kids or you, if you like using pencils, can use this for a really long time. So I hope you like this little tutorial on how I uh, remove uh, the little... Uh, part here where it clipped on your shirt if you wore it in your pocket and that's my uh, mechanical pencil flower tutorial thanks for watching comment and subscribe still trying to get to 250 subscribers on my youtube um, so i can do a giveaway uh, you can check out the giveaway um, prizes on my instagram at silver cats crafts trying to get to 500 on that um, media. So uh, help me out and I can do my giveaway for February. And this is all going to end on February the 11th, which is my birthday. I will be 58 years old. So that's how old this old crafter is. Good night, good evening, good morning. Bye.